Hello, this is Rip with IMSI Design. Today I am going to go over snaps. Snaps ensure precise placement of points when you use a cursor. Snaps can be used at the start and end of a drawing operation. Snaps can be controlled in the Snap Toolbar, Toolbox, or Drawing Aids dialog. To open the Drawing Aids dialog, right-click the Snap or Geo button below the drawing area. By default, vertex, middle point, center, and quadrant point are selected. In addition to the snaps, both the extended ortho and apparent intersection geometric aids are active. Let's go over how these snaps work, starting with the geometric aids. For the snaps to be active, a drawing tool must be selected. For this example, I will be using the line tool although any other drawing tool will activate the snaps as well. The geometric aids create auxiliary lines which can be snapped to. Extended ortho allows you to snap horizontally and vertically to the vertices you have highlighted while apparent intersection allows you to snap to points where two lines would eventually meet. For now, let's turn the geometric aids off so we can see how the snaps work. The vertex snap snaps to the nearest vertex. A vertex can be the end point or corner of an object. The midpoint snap snaps to the midpoint of a line or line segment. The center snap snaps to the center of a circle, arc, or ellipse. The quadrant snap snaps to the nearest quadrant point on a circle, arc, or ellipse. Quadrant points are located at 0, 90, 180, and 270 degrees. If the center snap does not work, go back to the geometric aids dialog and be sure in aperture only is checked. As you can see, when it is unchecked, the quadrant snap will be working at any time I hover over the circle and the center snap will never come up. Now let's go back to the drawing aids dialog, check in aperture only along with both geometric aids so we can see how all the snaps and drawing aids work together. I can snap from the apparent intersection of the line and triangle to the quadrant of the circle. from the center of the circle to the vertex of one of the segments of the hexagon. And from the midpoint of one of the segments of the square to an endpoint vertex of a line. This concludes the demonstration. For more information, please visit our website at imsidesign.com.